Okay. Ay, 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 ay. What's up, divas and divos? It's your girl April. So, first of all, before y'all be like, girl, didn't you wear that shirt already? Yes, I did. I did. Okay. I like to do a lot of videos on like the weekend because I just be trying to get a lot of things done. Okay. This video is going to, of course, be by a international hair company. It is super hot right now, so please forgive me. <sighs> okay. And the name of it is called Eunice. Um, yes, Eunice. U-N-I-C-E. -E. So maybe it's Eunice. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you, how you pronounce it. But, um, yeah. So they sent me some of their Peruvian body wave hair, okay? And I am, like, really, like thrilled they have some nice hair uh, when I say they have some nice hair meaning it curl really nice I didn't even get to use the four full bundles that they sent me because the tracks were kind of long but also the hair texture the hair was just like really pretty it was very acceptable I was like impressed it came in this nice little white box nothing like oh my god I'm gonna say it type of box but it came with um, you know some curling flexi rods in it and it also had um, a wig cap <laughs> and the hair, all right? So originally, they were supposed to send me, like, um, a closure, not a closure, but a frontal. And um, they did say they were, but I guess by mistake, it, it ended up being a closure. No big deal, because I love those just as much. And it is their Peruvian body wave here. Now, I can't remember for the life of me off of the top of my head what the length is, but I definitely will post all of that for you guys below. I think it was like 20, 20, 18, 16, you know what I'm saying? 16, something like that in that spectrum, you know, because I don't really go too long. I don't think it was 24. I definitely wasn't. It was 20. I'll definitely post it for you guys below. But so it is body wave. I did style it and wash it. It was a norm that I did. But you know what I was really impressed with the most was the closure. Like, you know, even though it was supposed to be a frontal, I got a closure. You guys know I feel a lot more comfortable with closures anyway. But I can hook up a frontal and a 360 as well. But since they um, accidentally sent me the closure, um, that was what was in the box. No biggie. I didn't say anything about it. I really didn't care. You know what I mean? I noticed that the closure was really well made. Like, to me, it looked like the roots was, like, really kind of, like, bleach, but they weren't. Either way, it was nice. It came out really good, as you can see. Um, and as you can see, I have her already curled in style because, you know, this is how I style my wigs. And you guys seen a video tutorial of that. And of the that, let's just get into this.
so I'm pretty sure y'all can tell by the faces that I was making while I was taking my picture time. My selfies. But I'm feeling it. Like, I like it. Like, okay, so I like the way I curled it. It's just that, okay? It's really bouncy. It's, like, really bouncy. I like it. I told y'all I really do like this closure that they sent me. Like, it wasn't supposed to be, but it is. And it is what it is. You got to make do with what you got, okay? So, it's really bouncy. I made it into a middle part. So, that way, if I didn't want to wear it as a middle part, you know, or whatever, left or right you can always like move your wigs to the left to the right but i did add combs in it you guys know how i feel i need all the wig security that i can get now here's the debbie downer like seriously let's just get on to this wig grip thing because i'm gonna just do a really quick short um review on how i feel about the wig grip um which is this you guys seen that i had that brown band on prior to putting on this wig and it's the wig grip it is a comfort band so they say and it is supposed to fasten your wig or scarf securely without clips or combs which is great you know what i'm saying you won't lose your edges etc etc so you know i did purchase this off of amazon it was 20 bucks there is a different brand that's like seven and it's not by the wig grip but I I watched some wig, some YouTube tutorials of reviews on both brands, and really, you know me, I'm cheap, so I was going for the cheaper brand. But then I got um I watched a video, and the girl was not really too pleased with this, so I was like, okay, she, you know, she and she didn't really have really too much nice things to say about us. So I was like, well, because she said that, I'ma just go ahead and purchase like the more expensive brand from Amazon. It was twenty bucks. I had a five dollar credit, so I paid fifteen whatever i decided to get the brownish color um okay the tan color now at first um it was a hassle like with this um you really do need to sit your wig back some okay so like you don't see it moving or whatever but i do have combs in it but with the wig grip okay so it is kind of like bunching up my wig right here in the middle you might not be able to see it but i can tell but and also you can see it through the closure so it'll look more tanned in a certain area so like right here it might be lighter but then right here it gets brighter it's a little bit more noticeable and you're like girl why is your scalp lighter or brighter right here so you have to like kind of like put a little bit more concealer on to make it match up also uh, as you guys noticed i'm not really sure if you did notice i had to actually sew mine it started stretching out and once it stretches out, the grip, the Velcro goes past the growth Velcro where it's supposed to lay flat at. So it doesn't start, it doesn't hold as well. Um, and it also seems like to me, on me, it slips back. Now, I don't know if it's because it's old or whatever, but I'm going to be honest. I like it best for my scarves. Like when I want to do my little updo scarves, I like it best for that. It does hold your wig in place. It doesn't slip back your wig like that. But honestly, you need to have the wig grip back here in order for your wig to actually honestly lay flat for you to get like a comfortable feel out of it. So me, I'm going to go and buy the cheaper brand because I want to see how that really works. And I'll let you guys know from there. So let's get on to the back to this hair. So the hair is very bouncy. As you guys can see, it's soft, it's manageable, and it really is great hair. I didn't, um, I'm trying to remember. There was probably like... A little bit less than the last bundle so because there was four bundles um, I do know that there was a little bit less um, and left than half and so I didn't use the full four now when I washed it it did shed like regular I will tell you guys in a heartbeat if it shed excessively but I'm like really really impressed with this hair because I really honestly did not think it was gonna come out like this like for real you know when you curl something and you just be like hmm okay that's how i was feeling when i was curling it like oh uh, whatever i wasn't like really really impressed with it like that but it actually really did come out nice now i got all the body in the world from it just from using these pins the duck clips whatever to keep the curls in but it actually is really nice hair so i'm like okay but like I was saying before I even put the closure on, the closure is nice too. Like it's very, very like made well. Like, okay, so you know what? Yes, honey. Come through, baby doll. Come through. Nice hair. It's affordable hair and it's worth it. Um, 
I'm just like really impressed at how bouncy it is. It's very bouncy. I didn't do anything to it. Okay, so what I did when I curled it is I used this big one and a half inch barrel or two inch barrel. And it was this cheap curling iron that I bought like 10 years ago from Walmart by Clairol. Listen, it just goes low, medium, and high. That's it. Okay, so there's no really number of temperature gauge on it. So you can't use it for every hair type. What I did, I put it on a mannequin hair like you guys seen and I just sectioned it off. And I saturated, well not saturated, but I dampened the hair with my styling mousse. It don't matter what styling mousse it is as long as you have a styling mousse. That helps with the curls and it also helps with the flyaway. So what I had on hand was the cream of nature. Normally I will use my Aussie Instant Freeze. Once I was done, you know, I, it had the pin curls in it. As you can see, I just sprayed this on it and just left it alone for a few hours. It has like this really nice luster to it and I'm really, really impressed with it. Like, wow, you know. It's one thing to get good hair, and then it's one thing to get good hair that is cheap, and then you, you know what I'm saying? So that's like, it just kind of like, it's like, oh wow, like, okay, I didn't really expect this from like cheap hair. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I just be telling you guys a lot of times, stop buying expensive hair. You guys think it's going to last forever. You got to just do your homework and research, and you'll find like some really good cheap hair. You can definitely check out Eunice. I think it's Eunice or Eunice. I'm not really sure, so I do apologize if I'm chopping up their name. Right, this is the third video that I did for the day on hair. And the, a couple of them, my feng shui was kind of like down. I don't really know what happened. Um, and I guess sometimes you can tell. But it seemed like once I started styling it, I was able to smile more. And I was liking how my pictures was coming out. That's why I was taking my pictures. But I don't know. Sometimes certain things just make your feng shui go really, really up. And some things make it go really down. So I'm just like really impressed with the hair. So, you know, it is what it is. So definitely check them out. I will post all of their information down below for you girls. And let me know what you think. Make sure you thumbs this video up because you know it's your girl. And I'll see you guys in the soon to come video.